Okay, today we are unboxing the Logitech G930 series wireless gaming headset. Uh, the G is for gaming. Uh, I, re I got these headsets recently to replace uh, the Steel Series headset, um, USB headset, this contraption here. Uh, terrible headset, we'll get back to this one later. Um, anyway, so we have the G930, it's got a lot of great features on it, you know, it was a reasonable price. When I was originally looking for a headset about a year ago or two years ago, the wireless headsets were, I don't know, geez, they were like 300 bucks. They were super expensive and there really wasn't that many on the market. Uh, now there seems to be a ton of them. So this one has the 7.1 surround sound. It's not a stereo. Uh, you either like that or you don't. I mean, some people like fidelity. Some people don't. They think it's they think it's useless. I believe you can turn it on and off. All right, so let's get this thing open now. Open this sucker up. Got some big scissors here. Here. Uh, you know, I gotta get a better thing than scissors next time. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. What we got here inside the clamshell. Oh, see, it probably opens from this side. Oh, yeah, we got a. What is this? Some kind of manual, piece of cardboard. shell up and here we are the headset well it's surprisingly light itself that's pretty that's nice to know um, let's see. Adjustable? Yeah, it's adjustable here so it's got some swivel it seems to be pretty sturdy my one of my biggest problem with headsets in the past is they just disintegrate on you if you play a lot of games you take them on and off put it slamming them down uh, they tend to fall off your, your, you know, I don't know, on my desk at least, they tend to fall off or I run over the cord constantly. Um, maybe that's not your issue, but that is. This has this neat little, ooh, look at this, sound like a spindle. That's pretty neat. It's nice of them to do that. You know, okay, cool, a little micro USB there, USB. And then we got, probably shouldn't touch it that way, but whatever. The USB stick here. Um... So that would be it. Uh, I guess you can also they charge. Where's the charging base to this? Does this come with a charging base? How does this work? Uh, I guess it charges through the USB. Okay, so that would make sense. All right, so you could charge it while you're playing. This this is for, for wireless, and then you would plug this in to charge it while playing, and that's why it's got the extensions on it. Because I guess you can keep it short or keep it all the way up. I don't know what the battery life is on this, but. There's a few touch features right here on the side, you'll see. We have power button. Um, looks like that does some kind of surround feature or something. Volume. Programmable. Mute. Unmute. And there we go. So. Let's see what's in the They don't have more uh, software I have to download. I really hate this stuff now. It's, every, it seems like every time I get a new device, I have to download more software. Yeah, it looks like this is some kind of software I gotta download. Jeez. Ugh. I don't know how many things I gotta have running. Alright. All sorts of features here. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, there we go. So we get, um, what is the total charge time this thing holds? I should have read that before I did anything else. I never do these things correctly. Anyways, let's try them on, see how they feel. I'm now wearing the headset and speaking into the microphone function on it. Uh, the headset's actually pretty comfortable. It fits snugly on my head. Uh, I also went ahead and installed the, the uh, software that you have to download from Logitech. Um, and it took me about eight minutes to set everything up. Uh, I must say, after having worn this for uh, a little while now, it's you can feel the weight in your neck. It's not that as light as I had thought. Uh, for those of you who have never worn a heavy headset before, <laughs> uh, be prepared to start feeling like a bobblehead doll after a little while. 
Um, the 7.51 digital surround sound feature here doesn't really do anything, but it's a nice way for them to like showcase how the digital surround sound works. It, it sounds pretty great. I can't complain about the quality. Uh, as far as checking the mic levels, you can adjust them, but there's no playback function. Logitech G9 30 series um, gaming headset. I want to talk about what nonsense these these uh, Siberia headsets are. Probably the worst things I ever bought. It's really disappointing. It said it was a USB headset, and instead you get this external sound car thingy, and then this is this is what makes it a USB headset. Is it's got an adapter here, but you know, is that really make it a USB headset? Uh, is it just really selling an analog headset with a USB adapter <laughs> with it? I mean. I feel like I bought this under false pretenses, but anyways, I had nothing but problems with it. I could never get it to work with anything, and maybe it's just I'm inexperienced with how to set these things up, but it was, this was a real disappointment.